Hi there, welcome back. Today we are at an antique mall and it is right behind me and you can see that it is a few floors. There is an upstairs and a downstairs and a whole bunch of rooms so it's very large. So we're gonna go in and see what we can find in here. So let's go on in and check it out. Wow, this place is huge. 21,000 square feet, 28 shops. I'm excited. Are you excited? Let's go check it out. for this piece. That is definitely something that I'm going to look for in the wild. <laughs> Beautiful pieces. Wow. Stunning. A lot of really pretty things in this booth. What are these ones? read what is on that vase or a picture in the back there but it's quite pretty. The head vase. These are really pretty. I love these pieces. Nippon Biscuit Barrel for 85 Wendell was eyeing up this sterling silver set for $9.50. He likes his silver. Some uranium glass. Of course, I didn't bring my flashlight. I never remember to bring my flashlight. Floors are quite squeaky. There's some more more craft. Yes, be on the lookout for that. And dolls. Lots of dolls. I love these two pieces. Little teepees. 
Yeah. So cute. Say whatever I said. There's so much to see in here, so I'm going to probably be going fairly quickly so I can show you as much as possible. But I also want to have a good look to see if there's anything that I may want to purchase. There's a lot of peach luster down there. Foster. Foster Polly. Foster's Pottery. Twenty-six dollars. I've never heard of Foster's Pottery before. Mm, some fun cookie jars. Art Deco looking candlesticks, candelabras, I guess those are called candelabras. These are really pretty. Love the shape, the lines of them, the color. Very Art Deco looking, probably 1930s. Maybe older. There's some little smalls. And there's something in here that I may want to purchase. Oh, she is adorable. Is she four dollars? Yeah, I will take her. Oh my goodness, she is so cute. I'm taking her. I'm gonna come back for her. guy back here. Um, not sure. <laughs> Is that a little piggy? Is he a dollar? Look at him. <laughs> I think he's a buck. Yeah, he's a buck. A buck. I'm going to take him for a dollar and put that guy there too. These are some tiny little wood These gazelles. They're two dollars each. Here. Okay, we got those. Check out the monkey. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's too cute. He's a dollar. <laughs> He's very cute. It's a little cutie, a little ram. Look at this, one dollar as well. I believe him. These are interesting. Four dollars. Very unique looking. I believe this is wood. Yeah, they're made out of wood. 
Some fun decor. Some copper on them, $4. Is it $4 for a set or $4 each? They're $4 each. I might grab those. I'm gonna leave them there for now, but I might pick those up. I've only just started, so <laughs> I don't wanna buy everything in the first place that I check. Some carved wood birds, $20. It's a really good price for those. $16 for these. on that one. All right, well, I've got a few things right there, so I'm come back for those. And keep looking. And this booth's got some beautiful jewelry in it. Lots of really pretty pendants. light earrings right there as well. Really pretty pieces. Some rings. Tiger size, two dollars. Obviously not stain or s silver, sterling silver, but his eyes pretty. I might have to have a look in this cabinet after. And it's a pretty piece of blown glass. Venetian. And there's a piece of Murano over here as well. Looks like a pheasant, I think. This 125 for that piece. Okay, I'm gonna head on up stairs here. This is one floor up. There's still one more floor up. Check out what we got up here. Some art glass. And a cute little egg cup. Three dollars. That's really cute. A marble egg. This is neat. Really neat little egg. There's the monkey planter. No price on that guy. It's a nice basket. Looks like it's got a lot of age to it. It's $12 for that one. This one is 22. That's beautiful. Lots of age on that basket. A piece of brass for 28. This booth's got a lot of little knickknacks and plates. These are cute. That's a really cute little set. Crown Devon, England, $55. Paperweight with etched ram. It's 
glass. Vaseline glass. Fenton of oh, satin glass. $68. This is pretty. Custard glass. That's why it's not Vaseline. Custard. That is beautiful. Teapot is beautiful. How cute are those ducks? Eight dollars for a vintage Avon quackadoodle. Celluloid hair receiver. That's cute. I love celluloid pieces. Skaniki. Clip-on earrings are really pretty. I don't wear clip-on earrings, but they're very pretty. I love the green stone in them. They look like they could almost be Trafari. That's probably locked, so I can't check them out, but look at this little barrette. Oh my goodness, three dollars for that little barrette. I need that. Mosaic piece, really pretty. Twelve dollars for that. I wonder if that's sterling silver. Check that out as well. I'm gonna get her up here, the lady that owns the building, owns the antique shop, and uh, get her up here too. Have a look at this. I wanna have a look at that. A box of jewels. Lots of brass in it. Interested to see what their brass at five dollars. That's really neat. Five dollars for this. No, oh, fifteen dollars. That's still a really good price. Very fun. This looks like a mid-century brass to me. Sherman. A neat piece. Booth is pretty packed with all kinds of goodies. Some very large dogs, pottery. Looks like Blue Mountain pottery. What's this piece? Golden beige pitcher. It's full name on it. That's a neat piece. Oh, 
royal bouquet. These are fun. I have salt and pepper shakers to go with this set. Or this jar. Lots of little smalls in here. I and mean, then we can find some goodies. Look at these apples. Five dollars. Pretty cute. Oh, I like this lady. <laughs> Two dollars for her. I'm gonna take her. <laughs> oh, she's pretty cute. I left one of those at Valley Village. There's a set of two. I thought they were kind of neat, but I figured they needed to be in a set. I'm curious what they're priced at here. $16. Or 20, no, $24 for the pair. Some folk art, Portugal. This one's open, so I can have a look on the other side as well. I'm gonna, I don't know if I want to play around with that. I'll just have a look and see if there's anything that I want. I had that exact lady. I sold her in my shop. She has occupied Japan. The deer. It's one of my favorites. These cats. I'm curious about these cats. Oh, that opens quite good. Let's check them out. Eighteen dollars for the pair. Those are really neat. I think I like them better than the other cats. I was considering. How fun is that? Love them. I'm gonna grab these. All right, let's go check out some more of this mall. There is lots more to see. I will start over on this side. I can work my way around. There's a piece of glass. $36. It's a beautiful color. That is a view from upstairs and I haven't even got to that section yet <laughs> I haven't even made my way over there so <laughs> got a lot of ground to cover wow this is gorgeous beaded doll that is so much time and work went into that. That beading is just amazing. $14. It's beautiful. I might be taking this piece. Just set it there for now. It's kind 
kind of looks like Russian folk art. Possibly. So no marks, no name or anything on it. It's a really nice piece of red clay pottery. Kind of looks Italian. Mm, maybe Portugal. All right, now we're gonna go down and check out that area I just showed you. I spotted this filigree little dish, trinket dish. So I'm gonna grab it as well, it's $7, so I grab it. All right, we are down on the main floor on the opposite side. There's a lot of cute little smalls in here. Look at these little wooden salt and pepper shakers. I love the fish too. Love those fish. These little orange bunnies. And these guys, hand carved. I think, yeah, they look like that's carved. Or is that a nut? I'm not sure. They're pretty cute. Some toys. I'm not really into the toys. I know nothing about vintage toys other than things I used to play with in the 80s, 70s and 80s. Six German. Yes. Got a few pieces of this. It's quite pretty. Some, these look like the Moore's chocolate boxes. I have them as jewelry boxes, but I did recently pick one up very similar to that one, and it had a sticker on the bottom that said Moore's chocolate. I'm pretty sure these are Moore's chocolate boxes. This larger one is 75. Smaller one. Uh, 75 as well. This is interesting. What is this? Ashtrayan. Just curious. It is alabaster. Is that alabaster? Yep. Genuine alabaster. Now that is heavy. Solid. And some Fire King mugs. These are my favorite mugs. Well, oh, and the Kimberly mugs as well, but I love the Fire King as well. Those orange ones are really fun. They are $10 a mug. This is locked. Um, these ladies, I forget what they're called, but I do have one. She's fully dressed, the one that I have. Well, she's not fully dressed, but she's got her pants up. Those cats are really cute. Silvac cat back there. Have a look in here. Try not to go too fast and make anybody dizzy, but I got a lot of space to cover here. Hello. <laughs> I 
make an offer. There's some pottery up here. Some salt glaze. This looks like salt glaze. Pretty. I like the green on it. Twelve dollars. Okay. Is signed. What does it say? Um, flate. Something flate pottery. I can't read it. It's too small. Here you guys can see that in there. It's a pretty little vase. I love the green on it. Twelve dollars. See if I can get this for a little less. It says make an offer, so I'm going to leave it right here for now. So I do not have any basket, so we'll see what I can get that piece for. It's a big cute box. Oh, no. That's a fun. This is Seaberg. Seaberg Directional One. That's a gorgeous picture. 125. That one's really pretty. Print. 